Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on this live Tuesday, the 26th day of May, 2015 worldwide transmission. Well, top government insider in the U.S. says we'll be lucky if we don't have World War III by this summer and prays that it won't be nuclear. Here's a report on Monsanto, and we'll be back. Hey, it's Anthony Gucciardi. This is an impromptu little session. We're going to go ahead and ask people, I'm at March Against Monsanto 2015, who aren't part of the event, what they know about GMOs and what they think about it. Let's do it. Hey, guys. How's it going? Are you, are you guys here with the March Against Monsanto event? Actually, no. We just kind of appeared here. Do you know what it is? <laughs> no, we're not, we don't. Do you know what Monsanto is? Nope, not at all. Ha have you heard about Monsanto? No. GMOs? No. Do you have any interest in it? No. No? And it's crazy that, you know, all these people are over there protesting it, and the average American doesn't really know what Monsanto is. Yeah. Stop. With March Against Monsanto? No. Do you, know, do you know what it is? No. <laughs> no? That's March Against Monsanto right there. That's what I thought when someone asked. It had something to do with glyphosate and GMOs in Monsanto. We're just going around um, seeing if people who aren't a part of the march actually know what it is. Do you know what Monsanto is? Nope. No. <laughs> no, no idea? Nope. No. Do you know what GMOs are? Yes. I've heard the phrase. <laughs> Yes. You do, though. Yeah. What well, else? I mean, okay, no. We found one out of like 10, 15 people that know what Monsanto is. It's a good, it's a good number. We're going to keep doing this. Do you know what Monsanto is? No. No? No. Do you know what GMOs are? No. What? Have you had you heard of it, Monsanto, before I told everyone what it was? I didn't hear you tell them, but yeah, I've oh. heard of it. Okay. <laughs> do you know what, do you know what it is? Uh, I believe it, it's a company. Or I think they make carpet. A genetic Monsanto. Food, right? Carpet company. Is that what? No, I is uh, Monsanto makes carpet? Sure. Genetically alter food. Correct, sir. Okay. Correct. They make GMOs. For a long time. They were in, uh, <laughs> doing it with cattle in Wisconsin for, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 years ago. Where are you guys from? Oh, well, I'm from Russia. In Russia? Yeah. Do you know what GMOs are? Yes, of course. I'm against of it. I'm so against of it. Do you think most people in Russia are against GMOs? Yes, actually. We're trying to fight it. Yeah, you know, whenever I go on Russian television, RT, they always say, like, this yeah, is a RT, non... You know this. Yeah, I know oh, RT. That's cool. They always say, this is not a real issue here because we unanimously are totally against GMOs. Is we that are. pretty much the case? Yep, yep, absolutely. Is it weird to you that Americans have to go and do this to try and get GMOs out of the food supply? A little bit, yes, a little bit, because if it's supposed to be like the first country and like, you know, you guys have to be for the healthy, but it seems like not. A lot of GMO here. What, what If I were to go in Russia and say like, hey, you know, we want to get GMOs out of the food supply, what do you think about that? Would they be all, all, all for that? Or? Uh, say it one more time, sorry. Most people in Russia would just think it's a non-issue, right? Like it's, they, they would already know the GMOs are bad. Yes, it is, absolutely. Wow, well, we're going to talk to some Americans to get their take on it. All right. Okay, so you actually know what Monsanto is? Uh, yeah, I know a little bit about it. Where are you from? I'm from Houston. Okay, so, and, and you actually know, like, do you know what GMOs are? Uh, no, not really, but I, I know about the, the whole cow thing, and, like, with, with the milk. RBGH, yeah. Yeah, and then from my English class. And oh, okay, cool. So, I've just spoke to someone with Russia, and they basically said, everyone knows GMOs are bad, you know, it's yeah. totally accepted fact over there. Isn't it weird that most people don't even know what this is, and here there are hundreds of people protesting it, and millions around the world right now? Yeah, I think that's pretty interesting, because it, like... Because it, it affects us very much. So. Who's your friend? Do you know about Monsanto? I don't know about Monsanto. No? Do you know what GMOs are? Yes, I do. Oh, so you do? Okay. Yeah. So, you, so some people seem to have heard of GMOs, but they don't know about Monsanto. Oh, uh, yeah. And, yeah. Are these your family? Yes, yeah, my family. Do they know what Monsanto is? They don't speak English. They don't speak English? <laughs> uh, where are they from? But, I mean, what I, language do they speak? A Vietnamese. Can you ask them if, if in Vietnam people know what GMOs are? Of course they do, because of Agent Orange, right? Let's, let's, talk, let's actually talk about that. So, you know what Agent Orange is, Orange is right? Orange? Agent Orange. How do I explain this? During the Vietnam War, uh -huh. the United States used Agent Orange. They claimed it was an herbicide, but it was a chemical that killed millions of people and led to millions of birth defects in Vietnam. Okay. Are you familiar? 24, 24, 24D? Any? Um, I would like the pesticide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe hồi đó nó thả mấy cái bom ngoài cái cho mấy người người ta bị bệnh đó. They do know what that is. Yeah, she says in the north, not the south. And it was very devastating. It was, yeah. You know who made that? Who? Monsanto. I see. Tell them that's who they're protesting right there. They're, they're protesting the company that was responsible for Agent Orange, which, which led to millions of birth defects in the country that she's from. Tell her about that. Uh, nó đang, um, uh, all right, folks, the full report is on Infowars.com. Excellent job, Gucciardi and Josh Owens. We'll be back.
changing the destiny of this planet, the human course of our species. That's what we're all about here at the Info War. And history has shown us many things. But chief amongst it is that individuals have an incredible power to change the destiny of our humankind. For good and for bad. And that for too long, the corrupt have been in control, openly maneuvering us towards what can only be called high-tech slavery. Our story is linked on DrudgeReport.com. Congress uh, and the federal government are openly beginning to sniff around with the new Supreme Court ruling and are talking about taking over the public and private pension funds to, quote, protect them, and then, of course, tax them and loot them, because our country is managed by the very same globalists that have done this in countless other countries over and over again. So we know the M.O. of the globalists because we've seen them carry it out. In fact, Sunday, I read this again on air, but will you guys print me Barry Goldwater? from No Apologies, Warning of the Trilateral Commission, Global Government Plan, and then also print me Cicero on the traitor, thank you. Because those quotes from the 60s and those quotes from 2,060-something years ago together really illustrates everything. I have been saying that there is a clear move, you'd have to be blind to miss it, to start uh, conflict with China and Russia. That does not mean that China and Russia are good, it's part of a larger planetary destabilization program by the globalists who sit outside of the three power blocks. The Anglo-American West, the Russian system, and then, of course, the Asian system dominated by the Chinese. And out of the planetary destabilization, they believe, in Henry Kissinger's own words, out of these global crises and new crises, it will emerge, the planetary government. I mean, I can play the clips if you'd like. And I've read the books he wrote. I've read the books Brzezinski wrote. I mean, it's from their fat mouths. That's why Ronald Reagan and Barry Goldwater sounded like Alex Jones in the 60s. When Ronald Reagan ran for governor in California, he sounded like Alex Jones. When Barry Goldwater ran for president, he sounded like Alex Jones. Well, actually, Alex Jones sounds like them... Because they were simply there facing the facts. But under political pressure and being shot, people like Ronald Reagan quit trying to abolish the Federal Reserve or the IRS, didn't they? So we're dealing with the very same globalist group that has occupied our country. And, and now they know there's an awakening happening. So they want to take the glove, the velvet glove, off of the iron fist. And they want to bring the hammer down domestically to set the precedent they can arrest and incarcerate and disappear anybody they want. And we're here forcing a discussion, forcing it out in the sunlight, to have a debate about it, to kick the tires, to look at the speedometer, to look at the paint of coat, uh, to look at the paint, to look at the brakes, to look at the upholstery, and to say, you know what? We don't want to buy this car. We don't want to go down this road. And they're saying, no, 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 no. On amnesty... You can't see the legislation, just trust us, we're going to pass it. Or you can't see the power grab by the FCC of the internet and of non-broadcast media. Just trust us. And you can't see the Trans-Pacific Partnership, uh, it's secret. But just trust us and don't be an extremist. And you can't see details of $5 billion a year spent by the Energy Department in weather modification in the United States alone. We're like, we'd like to know exactly what you're doing. Shut up, crazy man, it doesn't exist. Really? Here's the documents. Well, never mind that. Hey, we don't want you arming Al-Qaeda to take over the Middle East. Okay, we'll just change the name. You lift the curtain up on these guys, and let me tell you, they're doing some bad stuff. And the curtain is being lifted. And so they're basically engaged in a rear guard action right now trying to do several things, shut down our economy, get us on welfare, get us on food assistance, get us on corporate welfare, get us on the system, 
corporate jobs that are government funded, government jobs that are government funded, food stamps, criminal justice system, psychological system, get you in the system, get you in the artificial economy that they control. That's feudalism. That's human management, 101, carried out in every culture since agrarian societies formed 7,000 years ago. But in the process of trying to bring in this planetary government based on destabilization, the elite endanger themselves. And you see elites, whether it was Julius Caesar going a bridge too far, Adolf Hitler going too far, the communists going too far, every other group gets, uh, take the example of, what was it, Chile attacking the British in the Falklands going too far, thinking they could win. So it goes both ways. In this destabilization, the elites end up destroying themselves. Coming up, economist, government preparing to seize 401k pensions. Supreme Court ruling sets the stage for economic totalitarianism. We'll cover that first when we come back. Then, senior NATO official will probably be at war this summer. If we're lucky, it won't be nuclear. Infowars.com, another headline, 2015 predictions, World War III could be inevitable as Russia leads war world into new kind of conflict. Another headline, Russian air defense units redeployed amidst snap combat readiness drills. Another report, terrorist nuke attack may be carried out inside the United States in the next 12 months. That's just some of what's coming up today. Rand Paul says Obama's disingenuous, says he can stop NSA spying anytime he wants. And the floods in Texas, mass shootings in Baltimore as the police stand down. Stay with us. Began to prepare for this in the last 15 years very intensely. The Army reports, the British Ministry of Defense reports, talked about a road warrior scenario in most areas of the world, out of which a global centralized government will rise as the answer to the chaos which they themselves have instituted by creating artificial scarcity and then mainstream media sits there and tells the public there's no such thing as corruption there's no such thing as centralized power being a danger there's never been a slouch in history, a gravitational pull towards tyranny. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Don't get prepared. Don't get prepared. With countless TV shows stereotyping preppers so that they could grab the audience while demonizing it. While the establishment itself digs in. And here are the headlines, economists, government preparing to seize 401k pensions, Supreme Court ruling, set stage for economic totalitarianism, close quote. Economist Martin Armstrong, very respected, warns that the Supreme Court ruling last week that set the stage for the federal government to begin seizing private pension funds. According to Armstrong, the outcome of Tibble versus Edison, which found that employees have a duty to protect their 401k plans from mutual funds that perform poorly will grease the skids for the feds to seize private funds and prosecute companies who manage mutual funds, quote, badly. That's right. Just like Obama's federalizing police, the name of fixing them, which only makes it worse. And then Al Sharpton admits that's the plan. Between the court ruling and the Obama administration's push for stronger fiduciary rules, the developments send a strong message to governments can much easier seize the pension fund management industry, of course, to protect the consumer, close quote, writes Armstrong. Well, they've been making those changes for years. And, and again, this is what the very same globalists that run our country have done everywhere else. So it'd be like if you were cows and going down a uh, processing line at a slaughterhouse, and, and if you were smart and you weren't a cow, you would see the cow ahead of you get with a big gas bolt coming down, air-powered bolt, slamming down in the head and knocking your brains out, and then big old chains dragging up around your legs and hauling you up to get your guts cut out. 
So we watch him do this, and 